Hey there everyone, it's Helen. I'm the national artist for Sephora Collection and today we have Brandon in the studio and we are creating a fun, bold, futuristic eye look. I just really wanted to play with colors and graphic lines. Stay tuned and you can find out how we got the look. Okay, to kick off this look, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona palette. This one is the pastel, so it has really beautiful shades. I think the greens are really calling to me, so I'm gonna use Adriatic and Mint Frost together on the lid. And I'm going to use the Sephora Collection brush number 10. And I've already primed his lid, and so now I can just place the color on. So turn just a bit this way. I really love this shade because it's like a duochrome. It has like a gold, sort of flex in it. And for this, I really do like to place the shadow on by patting it and just prevents fallout and really gets you the payoff you want. Of course, it's a Natasha Denona palette, so they have really, really good payoff. So you don't need to work too hard. And if you don't want any of the shadow to get into your lashes, you can just load up that tip of the brush and pat it on. So you're getting really close to the lash line, but your brush is flipped upside down like this. And I'm just gonna diffuse it a little. Whoa, I think this shade on your skin tone is just chef's kiss. It is really gorgeous, oh my God. <laughs> so cute. And next I'm gonna take the mint. So this is mint frost and I'm just taking a bit of this and going right over top. It has a bit more of a silver fleck to it, so it just helps to give you a nice light blend. So you can see with this shadow that because it has a bit of silver to it, it gives you that diffused look without having to blend. And I just went in with the same brush. I didn't even bother to clean off the other color because it actually just helps you to get those two colors to fuse together and blend nicely. Do you wear any like minty greens or turquoises? I typically wear like warmer colors that okay. are more, I guess, neutral, but I've yeah. been trying to push myself. So this I, is a good one because they have like a really good payoff. So it's really like making everything pop. I love, love it. a pop. Yeah. Okay, so now I am through laying down that really beautiful shade. I want to give it some contrast and make it look futuristic. So I'm going to use two different black liners and really get some crisp edges. It's gonna be overdrawn, it's gonna be asymmetric, it's gonna be gorgeous. So to kick off the liner look, I'm going to use a gel eyeliner. This one is the Sephora Collection Ultimate Gel Eyeliner in Black Matte, and it's just a really great creamy one that we can really lay down a lot of color. So the reason why I really love to use a gel eyeliner first for anything that's graphic is actually it lays down a lot of pigment, and it's really much quicker than using a liquid liner. I also like to use a gel because I find them a little bit easier to remove in comparison to a liquid, so you can kind of trace out your lines. So I know that you are great on social and that you also are a fellow makeup artist, so what do you like to normally use when you do liner? Personally, I do love a gel and I usually just smoke it out. I don't usually do much of a structured line. Oh, that's so cool. So I'm excited to Try see something, something different. different. Yeah, especially yeah. on you. All right, to make the eyeliner look really graphic and sharp, I'm going to just finish all the edges using the Hotline Liquid Eyeliner by Sephora Collection. I love this, it has a super fine point and it's a brush, so I like it because I find that brushes really can paint on that fine, fine point. And turn just a bit this way, here we go. Making it a bit sharper. So I'm just taking, basically these lines look a little bit soft on the edges, so taking this liner and making them look really sharp by tracing along the edge. So I feel like I struggled with what I was gonna call this look and I feel like it's very futuristic because it's asymmetric, it has like these really sharp lines in contrast with like the diffused color and it's just really interesting and funky and I love it. Do you wanna take a look? Please, I would love to see it. Yes. Ooh, gorgeous. So I love cool. like the softness of like the blue and then like the really strength of like the hard liner there. Right? It's really unexpected, which I love. I feel like you would rock this. Where would you wear it? 
See, this is a really good question, and I feel like I get this a lot from clients, is that a look like this seems like you might need to wear it to like an event or like an yeah. art show or something, but I think you can wear it anywhere. I think you can go to the park, go on a date, and be more bold. Yeah. I think that these types of colors and looks are fun to play with, and they wash off at the end of the day. Yeah, so I it's low it. stress, it's art therapy. Yeah, I feel like that is totally the theme that I've been seeing lately, is just people getting way more experimental with their makeup, and I am here for it. I would love to hear if you're gonna rock this look Look, or maybe you're gonna make it symmetric and do both eyes. I don't know, play around. Be sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, bye everyone.